Welcome back to News 46. Walmart now has a police substation inside. We caught up with Nye County Sheriff Sharon Worley and manager of Walmart, Alan Rogers. Walmart was kind enough to offer us a substation down here, and uh, we figured that it would be absolutely terrific to be able to interact with the public on neutral ground. And uh, it's really the basics of policing. We will be available. Um, intermittently here. Um, however, the SAU, the Sheriff's Auxiliary Unit, and uh, Neighborhood Watch will also be using this area, and so we'll have people here most of the time. So this is not just for suspects or um, people that are, have to do with Walmart, right? It's actually for the general public? No, this is for the general public. Uh, we, we felt that uh, we were a little bit too aloof in our cars and whatnot, so this is a place where people can come and talk and have a cup of coffee with the cop or come and talk about Neighborhood Watch and the things that they'd like to do with their neighborhood. Uh, it's a, a place where they can come in and uh, share their ideas with the Sheriff's Office. As soon as I heard about it, I thought it was a terrific idea. The reason being is, is the Sheriff's Office here is just absolutely fabulous. They've been, since I've taken the store, they've just been outstanding partners. Very, very active with us, partners in every way, and I couldn't think of a better way to expand that partnership than, than what we're doing here. I think it's great for the community. I think it's great for the Sheriff's Department to have the exposure in the community and also excellent for us. Have you heard anything from the community talking about uh, the substation so far? Absolutely. We've had several uh, questions come from customers as they're passing and they see the Sheriff's sign on the door, and every comment has been very positive. One person was transported from the scene of a collision yesterday afternoon. Nye County Sheriff's deputies and Pahrump Valley Fire and Rescue were dispatched to a two-vehicle accident yesterday afternoon on Calvada and Mount Charleston Street. Both vehicles sustained moderate damage. One female was transported to Desert View Hospital with injuries sustained as a result of this accident. Nye County Sheriff's deputies blocked traffic while the accident investigation was being conducted. This is Deanna O'Donnell for News 46. And let's join Ronnie Gibson with Nye County Public Auction. The following is brought to you by Nye County Auction. Yeah, this is our 15th annual New Year's Day auction uh, this Friday at 12 noon. Huge public auction that we have. We have uh, 492 lots in this auction. It's a huge auction. We've got everything, complete mix of everything, lots of vehicles, which you'll see here in just a minute. Uh, we have some very nice antique furniture, some really nice collector furniture, uh, very nice barrister desk set, antique bedroom set, uh, modern furniture as well. We've got modern tables and chairs, couch and love seat sets, a really neat, neat Pepsi cabinet, just a good eclectic mix of everything like that. Uh, we also have some really incredible collectibles. We've saved the best for the best. Uh, we've started collecting items since June. So we've got uh, some very nice cast iron pieces in here. We have uh, really nice uh, gold and silver coins. A uh, huge collection of a little bit of everything, as well as uh, nice collage art that we have. Just a huge mix. We got is a 1957 Ford F100, beautiful classic truck here. We also include this 2009 Ford Ranger, very nice clean vehicle all the way across, cold AC, very nice vehicle. Uh, we also have a 1979 Trans Am Pontiac, beautiful car, still the original emblem on the hood there, hard to find car there. Also, this stunning 2005 Dodge Magnum, up and running once again, incredible. Uh, we also have a nice motorcycle. This is a 2003 Suzuki Intruder, once again, very clean. All right, we also have this 2010 Polaris Ranger uh, 4x4 ATV quad set up here, very beautiful. Also, the 72 Ford F250, beautiful up and running truck. All right, we also have this uh, 2007, this is a 32-foot gooseneck Carmack uh, cargo trailer. Also, that's going to be coming into the auction here. We have a 61 Chevy Impala, beautiful classic car, and a 1970 Chevelle that's also going to be coming in. And as well, we have a 2002 Dodge 1500 Lariat, incredible once again. You do collect these items over a certain amount of um, time just for this auction. Exactly. People start collecting and start bringing us in items in June because uh, this is, once again, our hugest auction of the year. Everybody's so excited about it. We give away free food, uh, very nice layout of the free food. Uh, it's just our biggest sale of the year, and we have so much fun doing it. When's preview? Preview is Friday between 9 a.m. and 6 p.m. What time's the auction? 12 noon on Friday. Where are you guys at? 
We're at 850 South Lola Lane, uh, same street as the hospital. Uh, the phone number is 775. 537-2500 if you want to get a hold of us. You can also bid online? You can also bid online if you'd like. Uh, if you're here local, you're better off to stay here, come to the auction, but you can bid online and there's a link on our website to do, take a look at that. For more information, they can give you a call, they can stop on by, but of course look at that website and if people want to sell their own items, they can do that too. Yeah, just give us a call. Like I said, the phone number is 537-2500 and we'll talk about what kind of items you do have. Lots of auctions on New Year's Day. Well, when we return, we'll have your weather here with Noah Beacon.